Welcome to uh, BMF Ranch Live. Elliot Marshall, my jiu-jitsu coach. Direct what up? Direct in front of me, the Reem himself, Alice Joe Reem. Looking good as usual. As always, as always. To his left, Mr. Paul Felder, the thespian. <laughs> in between the two, we have Brandon Gibson, our pad holder around these parts. On the far right, I got uh, Johnny Two Steps. On suspension, UFC fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say I plead the fifth right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nyquil, though, right? Z-Quil? Z-Quil. 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 I plead the fifth. <laughs> we, uh, we took um, Johnny dancing, and he just burned it, cutting her up. So we call him Johnny Two Steps. <laughs> and that's suspension. Got feet. Like he got hot feet. <laughs> and that suspension part. Yeah. <laughs> the suspension he was in Australia got, I mean, Alistair would like to know. Do we want to fill him in? Didn't we go through this last time? <laughs> <laughs> cutting, right? I mean. Uh, all right. The situation was I took z like sleeping medication, mm-hmm. and it came up with my drug test as a stimulant. Mm-hmm. And uh, it came up as some other drug, but, uh, yeah, I got suspended for nine months for a stimulant. Yeah. What is that anyway? z What is in it? It just... Makes you go to sleep. It's is like you pre, Nyquil. Post USADA or pre USADA? This is uh, pre. Pre USADA. Yeah, so good just a P you. test. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah otherwise it'd be, you know, 17 oh, years of suspension. Yeah, the, the, the rest of your life. <laughs> the sound the of sound, it. The sound of how you talk when we, when we are uh, playing <laughs> said, Ultimate I Frisbee. I never said it was pretty how I spoke. It sounded mm-hmm. good. You know, I've, I'm even the first one to admit it. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a horrible sounding language. I don't think so. I think you sound, I, I like it. You I like enjoy it. You yeah. think it's cool? It's pretty well, cool, yeah. It's not, you know, in Europe, um, you know, it's, it's, we call this, the Scandinavians is like a kind of funny. The Belgians are stupid. Germans is ugly like us. But you wanted Belgian beer. Well, I actually asked for German. German beer. This is an American beer. Well, I understand. We, are, we had no, those, no, 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 when no. we played the game it's telephone, Belgian brewery. when know. we played the game telephone and, 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 it, and it went down it's to Belgium. Johnny, the, it, that's what we ended up with. It Some, says New Belgium. He well, thought he I was, was on the right. On the label, and indeed, on the label, it didn't say anything about uh, brewed versus the Belgium. Uh, to, to my defense, it was Walmart <laughs> liquor store. Okay, <laughs> you weren't getting any good Brewing beers at Walmart. By I mean, New Belgium except for Budweiser. Company, Fort Collins. Listen, that Walmart selection is actually not too bad down there. I'm going to go ahead and say I've been down there. <laughs> Hey, Belgium is Belgium to me. So, okay, so back what to the beer. What about a Stella if, Artois? If, would you if, drink if that? If I would drink a beer, I actually just started recently drinking it because usually I didn't really like right. it. It's like the cat dot, yeah. dot, dot. That's what I thought <laughs> it was. But I was on a training camp in Germany, and uh, there they kind of convinced me, try it, you're going to like it. Try the alcohol-free beer. A lot of marathon runners do it. It's really good post Workout the, al- the alcohol free beer? Alcohol free because alcohol is kind of like not sure. good for your body. Yeah, right. so alcohol no, alcohol free. is perfect for your body. <laughs> <laughs> Says cowboy. Perfect for your body. Think about the great decisions you've made over your life <laughs> due to alcohol. Well, you know what the thing is? I want to work out the day after and the day after that. And usually when I drink, then I'm like kind of like lazy. And then, yeah, it's not gonna, really going to happen. So alcohol free beer for me. Cowboy, uh, do you have that problem? Uh, no, I mean the problem. The problem yeah, I'm going to let you, you, I'm I'm you, you know what the problem with alcohol is. Wanting two, three beers, you're fine. We'll get up and train tomorrow, no problem. I've actually trained fairly drunk before. But um, on a, on a, I can, I can uh, vouch for that because you came into my sparring. You stay out late, you party. What happens when you drink? You want to get pussy, so you stay out all night chasing pussy. You know, then she plays the I'm not going to give you the pussy game until 5, 6 in the morning. <laughs> By the time you finally get it, you knock it down at 7, 8. Now you got to train at 9, not happening. So that's the, the, uh, the, the effects of alcohol. The process behind that. Listen, I'm 35 years old. I still have a couple good years left inside me. I get tired at 2 a.m. Yeah. I go home at 2. Right. I'm sleeping at 3. But the club and the clubs out there and don't even get going till 12.30. That's true. That's true. But I choose my moments. I have like two, three, maybe four moments a year that I go bananas. And uh, that's kind of like been a golden rule in my mm-hmm. fighting career. I'm coming from Holland, being half Jamaican. So do, know, I, let me ask you, if, if we're going to – if, if Alistair and Caliber are going out. We're having a good time. After the fight? No, yeah, right tonight, right? We're, 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 in a, we're, in a, we're in it. We're in it. We're able to fuck the fight. We're able. We're talking about tonight. <laughs> we're right now. We're able to get into your jet that you're going to fucking <laughs> pick me up in, and you're going to fly me anywhere in the world. Where Where are you taking me partying? I'm, I'm curious. Where's the Where's the The best spots in the world? In the world that you from from from, from your, your 
Okay, yeah. so I've traveled a lot. The four best spots in the world. There's actually four. I don't want four. I want ones. number one. I want. We got tonight. We're get the jets landed. Time, there's, the time has been frozen, and we're we're getting yeah, on the plane. No, we're we're fucking. It's, it's 1230, this, and we're going to cut it off at 2. We got two and a half hours when we get there. Okay, okay. If you put it like that, then I would go for Pattaya, Thailand. 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 Yes, you could be you've been there? I've never been there. You've never been there. Okay. No. Why? You go there with this crew. He's been there in the back. Yeah. I'm scared of yeah. trainees. <laughs> He's laughing. Throwing you it out. You go there with this crew. You're going to have... Like, how many people can we? How many people can we fit on this um, jet we got? We fit tw <laughs> tw twenty-four of us. Everybody. Everyone's <laughs> invited. Okay. No, no. But you're gonna have like the most unforgettable time ever. It's like the opposite of the U.S. It's like it's like Thailand stands for free land. It's cheap. You're gonna have uh, a lot Hookers. of experience. A lot of crazy stuff happen. Some stuff you will not want to talk about during. This no, podcast. we're talking. We only have, we don't care. I don't give a fuck. Podcast. Podcast. Talk this this, is, a, this is a party cast. Party cast. Yeah. <laughs> so we have two, two. We have two and a half. Uh, <laughs> That way I get you to bed by two, 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 the two fifteen. Yeah, but if it would be after my fight, I couldn't do six. Okay, so we're Seven, making. So eight, nine. we're not talking. We're tonight, right now. This is uh, uh, so. Well, I got I a fight coming up, so, so I'm gonna get you in bed at two o'clock. So we got two and a half hours. <laughs> Thailand is where we're headed. <laughs> we fly with the time zone. We might. No, we got. We're frozen. Time is frozen for this moment. Okay. But so we, we, we get there. <laughs> fucking clubs going. Yeah. yeah. Two and a half hours, right? We get there at twelve fifteen because that's what time we want to get there. Shut it down two thirty. Thailand's where we're going? Thailand, definitely. Definitely. Right. But then again, well, Ibiza's there. Miami is there. So Vegas I is hate there. Miami. The superficial assholes of Miami. It is. And it, but you have to go. You have to, it, that's, what I, that's what I meant. Time is important because you have the Winter Music Conference. Is it March? Yeah. That's like the best time. You can't just randomly go there and expect. You, know? you need to pick your times. Mm -hmm. Thailand is kind of good every day of the year. Every day. Vegas. I don't like Vegas in the winter. I like Vegas in the summer. Because you like the, the pool booty parties, popping, titty pool ropping, parties. good times. And then uh, Miami. Miami's not good during the summer because the season starts November to, uh, to April. So you want to be in, in March uh -huh. this time. <coughs> if you go to Miami in August, it's going to be calm. It's dead. So time is an issue. So now we, we were speaking earlier today about you telling me how in the Netherlands you can get your drugs tested before you use them by, by the authority. I heard you heard allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. We're not talking steroids tests. I'm talking good party party drugs here. So let me explain that a little bit. Okay, so so in Holland we have the policy um, that we call soft drugs. So there's just a a, a van or a bus what parked are, out, out front. Drugs? Soft drugs is marijuana, okay. and hash, that kind of thing. That's, yeah, it does. You soft here too. Have to make it. I don't smoke myself, but I have some friends who do like to do that stuff. Have you used medicinal topical oils? Uh, no. No, no, no. Okay. Well, I'm going to hook you onto that. You're going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like an ambassador for mar medicinal marijuana. Idea, I'm, a, I'm an ambassador for medicinal <laughs> marijuana. I also don't smoke, but I rub it. <laughs> okay. I heard that about you. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> no, but uh, okay. So there's soft drugs, there's hard drugs. And then we have kind of like the policy in Holland. Uh, soft drugs is allowed. It's not really allowed, but it's kind of like uh, allowed. They just frown on it a little bit. No, not even. They're not like, even. Uh, you know, it's not legal, but it's not illegal. It's like kind of like okay, whatever. And then hard drugs. Is yeah, what's our hard? What's our hard drug category so, so here? That would be heroin. Like, uh, heroin. Off top, cocaine. that's the hardest. That doesn't get any harder than than heroin. Heroin and meth is kind of like not done, but you have cocaine. You have. That's the whole, cocaine falls in the hard drug. Yes. You guys are about. I figured yeah. party mode would be a couple lines. No. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people. Yeah, mushrooms, but that's mushrooms. Kind of, mushrooms, mushrooms is hard. light. Huh? Hard? You guys speak in the mic. You think you're going to be in the mic. Mushrooms, mushrooms are hard drugs. Category of light <laughs> drugs. You can <laughs> buy that hey. in the coffee shops. Mushrooms should be legal here. Mushrooms should be all Banana. drugs should be legal across the board. I think. I think if you want to do heroin, I think you should be able to do heroin. I think you should go down to the Walmart till I need main vein some heroin, <laughs> and they're going to give you the best, you know. Dope they give you. you. That way it's not, it's, at least it's monitored, taxed, and, and we're good to go. I'm going to give you one advice. Going to Thailand, you don't want to touch any drugs because no, you're going to get I life imprisonment drugs, so. right off the bat. I don't do so drugs. So if you're going to have that attitude, going to Thailand, stay out of Thailand because it's going to be no, he's a not very saying long he's holiday. Do drugs. No, no, he's I'm saying I'm, all drugs should be legal for people to for do. For people to do across the board. Be because the reason, be right? Because yeah. you, I mean, 
So if heroin were legal right now, raise your hand if you'd go get some heroin. Yeah, no, there's Nobody. no one here like, oh, we're we're doing a <laughs> no, we're doing a party cast with fucking hits yeah. of heroin up. No, yeah. no one's. I mean, a couple beers. Okay, so the discussion, the big discussion point in Holland is okay. It's not uh, uh, legal. It's not illegal. It's kind of in that gray zone because that's a, that's the next question that comes so up. So what happens? What happens if I if I have if I have heroin on me? Well, if you're gonna make heroin legal, then uh, are you gonna make it entirely legal? Because then you can grow heroin. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, so, 100%. You're going to make everything that is, everything is, and that is a very big, sensitive question, I think. Well, just cause, look, cause look, the look freedom at Colorado. to administer it to yourself is one thing, but producing it on a mass scale, something yeah. which is bad for And I'll grow it here. What's that? I'll mass produce heroin here if I can grow it. <laughs> if I can grow it legally. I'll have mar- weed. Walter White. Uh, yeah. Cocoa. So, but just fucking just look heroin. At, like, look at Europe, probably right? see like, whatever. There's no drinking age in Europe, right? Like you drink when you want to drink. Like, so you can drink. So well, why, there is why, roughly, right? why, why is the alcohol rate, why is the alcoholism rate so much lower in Europe than it is in America? It's because it's so frowned upon in America. Right, and everyone's like, oh, don't oh, drink, yeah. don't drink, don't drink, don't what? drink. And then you're allowed to drink, and boom, there it is. Yeah, so these are all, uh, you know, questions. And, you know, I'm not, I don't uh, have the answers. I'm just talking shit. Uh, so. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're here debating about whether drugs, drugs should be legal. be legal across the board. Yeah, sensitive topic. I don't so know. what drugs would you check on the know. box? You know, you know, we are fighters. All of us are fighters. We're a little bit extreme people anyway as it, as it is. No, we're pretty calm. Yeah, I know. We're pretty chill. But yeah. uh, if you look at uh, other types of people that go to church, that never parted, never drink. I think everyone's good, and then shit happens to There's people. There's a bad in every good. There's, yeah, but we're not, ma- we're not made bad, as, as, as some are taught to be. We're not made as sinners. Nope. No, but, nope. Mm-hmm. but I do understand why some things are illegal. Oh, for sure. Listen, I have the discipline to stay off of that stuff. I come from uh, Holland. Sure. You know, and Holland is like a we all have the scene. discipline. Actually, the party scene in Holland is down. It's not, it's, I mean, all the Dutch DJs are here now. House is in America. Holland is kind of like... I love it. house music. I'm terrible. Ruining America. I love it. Great. <laughs> I love it. You know, and the timing of America? it. I came to house America. Music. House oh. came to America. Couldn't be better. Man, it's terrible. Because before I went out in America, my first fight was 2006 in the San Jose Strike Force. I fought Vitor Belfort. For the second time, kicked his ass, and um, I was. I, we went to the club after with the team, and it was like hip hop, rap music, R and B music in the club. I was like, "What is this?" Looking around. Yeah, it and says it you like have awful. fifty-five mixed martial arts bouts. How many fights over? How many total fights do you have? I have like uh, I think seventy-six or seventy-seven fights. Wow. MMA wow. and kick- kickboxing. Because I had some kickboxing fights. Mm-hmm. I started out kickboxing and wrestling, but my first fights, I think, first ten fights were kickboxing. And you went I'm ten and two. three, in kickboxing? <coughs> early career kickboxing, and then you went fourteen, and four. In the K one. In the K one. But uh, I got I think it here. There's a couple on there which are not registered. Okay, well sure. I'm, quick, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm with so you. So how much is that? Fifty six plus. Fifty six, fourteen, and 70. thirteen. Eighty-three, 83. but then he got lost, like, four losses, right? Well, fourteen is total. He went ten and four. Oh, and ten and four, got yeah. It. So eighty-three. Because 83, 83. So I, I, I think there's one not on there or two. So we'll just call, we'll call ninety. 90. Call ninety. No, no, no. Eighty-four or eighty-five. Right. About, to be, about to be about to be eight about to be eighty-six in Orlando, Florida, yes. December nineteenth. Yep. Co-main event to yours truly. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what's fucked up is you're going to be fighting, winning, sitting there like, God, I just made double what he made. That's so crazy. <laughs> you think so? I know so. Yeah, I know. Can we Google that? Yeah. <laughs> you see, the way my bank account set up is not the way your bank account set up. Huh? You're doing the Conor McGregor on me. No, no, yeah, but you're, you're the Connor. red panty night man. Yeah, you're the you're red, red panty night man. You, you're making <laughs> double you're three times nights. what I'm making, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's... uh. Well, I'm happy for you. Cowboys, Cowboys still say he's the white panty knight. You, you, fight, a, you fight often. I oh, enjoyed it often. when I fought a lot. I'd had 2008 and 2009 and 2010, so that's three years consecutive. I did like six, seven fights in like six months. Sure. I love oh, it. That's nice. Because that keeps you sharp. That keeps you in the rhythm. And if you were Makes making nerves, money, right? you'd still like be you fighting get used to the nerves. Uh, I'm not, the nerves don't, don't you really bother me anyway, but it becomes like a routine. And, 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 and I don't know, yeah. you get like, in that wait, flow. What again? I'm, I'm saying not less, but it feels normal. Rather yeah. than like, oh, shit, I haven't fought in nine months. Yeah. What's this feeling? Oh, you do get in a rhythm, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you 2001, 2002, you were almost sometimes two times a month you were fighting. It was good, yeah. 
Alistair, who would you say were some of your biggest rivals throughout these 90 fights? Uh, yeah, there's 85. been a couple. The you see him down the hallway, you fucking him up. Yeah, who don't you like? Who, if you could fight them again, if you could fuck them up again, who would you fuck up again? Um, In a dark field. No ref. On mushrooms. Let's hear some names. Chuck, Brock Lesnar. Chuck Liddell. Ooh, Chuck. Uh, Vitor. Okay, Bada so Hari. Chuck Liddell, nah. Remy Bunjowski. I kicked his ass. He caught me. I lost that fight. You know, whatever. Remy. Bunjowski. Remy Bunjowski, uh, we fought. I dominated him. Actually, to my opinion, if I look back at the fight, I scored a fight. I beat him because you knocked somebody <coughs> down. Um, but he was kind of the poster boy of the K1. Mm -hmm. So they didn't count. When he went down, they didn't count. So he got back up. And then in the final seconds of the third round, he uh, kneed me in the face. And then I stumbled back. And he immediately started counting. So I lost some points. But... Apart from that, uh, I know or for I, you know, actually my payback on Remy uh, uh, became when I became K1 champion a year later. Because we kind of have mutual friends in Holland, Holland is small. And um, I saw uh, one of my friends uh, called him. Hey, 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 Remy, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, did you hear the K1 results? Uh, no, no, who won? Yeah, Alistair won. He's like, oh, pff, shit. That was my payback. Please stop him. Please stop him. So, oh, okay. so, 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 did you like, did you like Tokyo like, when you were in Japan? Tokyo. Yeah. I so do Tokyo, I. Yeah. I felt, I, I felt. Tokyo. I, were you a Rapungi guy? <laughs> After the fights. I was more like a Rapungi before the fights. What's Rapungi? What's Rapungi? There's, there's, there's like a lot of fighters who went there like every night. Yep, that was me. And uh, I, I knew how to, the only thing, I couldn't figure any subway out except for how to get Rapungi, to Rapungi. Yeah. Got it. I knew that. <laughs> What's a Rapungi? That's like that's New York job, City. Or the That's Las the Vegas. district. And when were you there? Down. Which year were you there? 2010? Give me a minute. I have no idea. This might take more than a couple minutes. 1999. Yeah, I was. 2002? Uh, so those were the good times. Well, it was, it was a fucking good time. Because <laughs> the last time, uh, actually, when I uh, became champion in 2010, it was, everything was kind of going down. And they pay you in brand new notes, right? $100 bill. Like, so they come. I don't know if you guys ever seen like a stack of hundreds that they have like this red glue like they dip the, on the side to hold the notes oh. together. Ten k. And they'll just uh, peel it like, shh, like peel it off one hundred, two hundred is crazy. Sexy. And I remember getting my two hundred fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I and then I walk out and and you know I see the, the guys just getting five hundred k on the table getting scooted across like that. I will fight you for that right now. That was like what I thought. Like, I will fuck you up right now for that money. So who was that who got that money? Uh, when I was Japanese there. Japanese fighters? No, it was um, Andy Sauer was getting paid. And 500? He, maybe it was 250. It looked like a lot of fucking money. But then money. he won the tournament. Yeah, he might have won the tournament. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember. I won. That's I know I was in Rapungi that night. So <laughs> Spending that 200. You still remember that, it. So spend that 250. <laughs> 250. And quickly. Quickly gone. Quickly. But yeah. was, wasn't that a great time? I mean, the, it was so fun. Uh, martial arts was going sky high in, in uh, Japan. The sushi was great. Um, I thought the sushi sucked when I was in Japan. I didn't get any sushi. There. The one time you were there. One time. We could, this, this could be wrong. You, you, you just, just can get offended if you talk about sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Cream cheese is not supposed to be on freaking sushi. Cream cheese needs to be put on everything. I would eat it off a butthole if they put it on there. Yeah. <laughs> we're from Philadelphia. We I could actually cheese. see that. Now, cream cheese is not supposed to be on sushi. The Japanese sushi masters would roll over in the grave if they found out about that. Why? Because it's, it's, um, it's, um, delicious. It's a lot of precision goes into how they prepare the fish and how they kind of do that thing. And then I, I just put cream cheese on there, some sauce, some ketchup, some mayo. It's not supposed to be like that. You know where Little Tokyo is? Yeah, so I, I found this, um, uh, area, Little Tokyo, it's called Japanese in LA. They have You're authentic Japanese forever. sushi. Mm. It's expensive. You go eat there, you spend like 100, 200 bucks. But it's good if it's worth it. Little Tokyo. Little Tokyo. You might right. want to write that down. Write that I down. I just, I just. Little Tokyo. I mean, where is this at? Yeah. LA. LA. It's Don't kind go of to iHeart Sushi. Yeah, well, There's a couple of joints there. They're like perfect. Huh. I'll check it out. So sushi's your, your thing. If you can no, eat one thing of me, sushi. 
Albuquerque doesn't really have. Uh, I mean, besides horse, what is your favorite meal? Okay, so <laughs> horse. <laughs> Looking at me like that. <laughs> Horse steaks. Oh, gross. No, I like, uh, I like uh, Indian curries. I like Thai food. I like. Oh, I, uh, I see uh, Paul nodding yes. Yeah. Yeah. Curries. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's funny. People uh, when they think of England, they they don't realize <laughs> that, like that's you. If you go to England, that's the most popular. Di- t- chicken tikka masala in England is like one of the most yeah. popular dishes that yeah. people get. They think all fish and chips. And, but there's a huge Indian population there in yeah. England too, so people huge. curries are huge over in England. Great. I went over there a couple of times, and man, like going out to eat, that's where people wanted to go when I was hanging out with people over there. It's not ideal if you want to cut weight. No, for sure. <laughs> no, but, but delicious. Once, that, once a week, cheat meal, better yeah. than McDonald's for sure. Well, 100%. Yeah, we were just having discussion. McDonald's, McDonald's rated meat isn't even on the even, list. It's not, it's not meat. No, it's not it's, meat. It's, it's, it's not it's chicken. It's toxic. It's, yeah. Kind of it's, so you where feed would your you children you McDonald's now? You're, it's it's it's, it's a, you should be. Well, well listen, there's this, for a crime. this picture I have on my phone that they have this McDonald's. They kept it like kind of like uh, so yeah, in the yeah, box. It's in the yeah. box, and, it's and like fine. a year later, 365 days yeah. later, it it's still intact. Yeah. Yeah. They, they have one that was a couple years. Even old. the bun? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it doesn't yeah. get Cowboy moldy or anything. Nothing, nothing. It stays the same. That's how much food. Preservatives it's and not yeah. nastiness are in it. It's only it's only McDonald's in Toxic. America though, because in other countries they don't allow. In the preser- Holland, Amer- uh, McDonald's it's tastes meat. better. It's yeah, because it's actual food. It's slightly better. It's not the world it's, of yeah, it's but still it's actual, fast food. But it's actual food, food rather than rather than the processed shit that we allow are allowed to eat. McDonald's and their portions are smaller. Never. I get sick. When Do I you enjoy Abu Taco Dhabi, Bell? No, 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 no. Oh shit, that's like really the worst. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love Taco Bell. Mexican pizza. Taco Bell's good. I actually have a couple of friends who I've actually had to teach about food because they don't really know about food. And yeah. you know, if you wouldn't mind, I could, <laughs> you, you don't could want to sit keep, down. Don't, don't, don't take that on. Yeah, don't take on teach, teaching, cowboy. Teach, teach me a thing or two about food. I'll, I'll, we'll go to Taco Bell. Eat some fruit roll ups, yeah. drink maybe, some Budweiser. Yeah, what did you have for lunch today? What did I eat? Your Cookie lunch? brownies. I ate Cook- some of your lunch today. What was it? Skittles. Skittles. And um, I had a brownie that was also had a uh, cookie. A hey, another question. Oh, no, cookie. yeah, we stopped I at hear. Starbucks. You wanted a cookie from that lady, it's, didn't it, you? It was it's tasty. still in the truck. Yeah, it's still in the truck. Hey, listen, another question. I hear that you hardly eat at all. I do. I hardly eat at all. Yeah. He ate yesterday. So, what does he eat? Yesterday, he ate. But other than that, like if you have dinner, like yeah. if you have like a nice I'm a, meal, I'm a picker. Like let's say you had yeah, like a, a little bit of this, a little bit of steak, that, right? With some oh. with some uh, sweet potato fries, or just let's say baked sweet potato, and uh, say Brussels sprouts. He'd come over. He wouldn't touch your fucking steak, right? He would he would look at your look at your sweet potato and like pick it with a fork a little bit, and then maybe have a bite, and then he'd be for sure having like half of a Brussels sprout. Yeah. So you're hardly eating. He ate some of my asparagus last night. But he like did. a bite, a, a bite, three or four pieces. He had some like no, but yesterday was a big day. He had, yeah, he was. <laughs> he, was a big he, had, day. he ate an outback and he had, had my piece, asparagus and a piece night. of pizza last night. Yeah, so. yeah well, I, I, we went for dinner that one time. You hardly eat. Yeah. So what's up with that? Well, I have only half a stomach, so it gets full quickly. Uh, that was a surgery. So. Yeah, so. It's full quick. So um, how do I go about getting one of these half yeah, stomach things? <laughs> that's yeah. you well, just they have procedures for that. They do have procedures for that. But I need that. I get, it's weird if I eat and like overfill my stomach, I get like this like nausea sensation, I feel like I have to throw up. It's like, so it's uncomfortable, so I just don't. So that's a good thing. Yeah, so I just don't get, I just don't eat to get that feeling. Did you ever fight a weight class higher? No. No. So you're just. Dude, I, when I, back when Ellie and I used to train, I'd fight 155 and be like 153. Yeah. Like just fighting, yeah, just to, just to do it. Because <coughs> I love it. So I think, honestly, if you had your whole stomach, I think you would have struggled to even make 155. Well, sure. Because you're six one, right? Yeah, I mean, if I ate... And you still cut a significant amount of weight, and you have half a stomach. Right. So you for sure would be 175. It could be my diet and what I eat. Maybe well, I your eat. diet's because but of your diet, your stomach. Where it came, what, you know, with the carpet before the horse, you, here, which one? Yeah, true. The diet or the stomach? Yeah. yeah the, so before the I've stomach... I've been eating for rolls. So hold on. So before <laughs> the stomach, did you eat? <laughs> yeah, I used to eat. I used to eat a lot. I used to love it. You'd probably look like me. Like a man. Yeah, full stomach. Yeah, something like You that. still like to eat. You just got to be careful. You got to be careful you how much you I'm eat. Gonna, I'm going to tell you something uh, about the food. So in the beginning, I moved to uh, Miami 2012. And uh, I was kind of like eating and after workout. But I don't know. There's like so much preservatives. My body doesn't like it. I can't. I can't. If I go to, let's say, Chipotle was there back then, I would go to after workout. I couldn't eat. I would At take Chipotle? one bite. I would lose my appetite. At Chipotle? 
Yeah. Wow, but Chipotle is normally a pretty healthy for, restaurant. Yeah, I love yeah, Chipotle. But all love. their, all their, yeah, all their meat is... in there. No. They're kind of getting it out now, but yeah. it, so... Uh, maybe recently. Maybe that has to do with you, too. Maybe because what you're eating is kind of like... For the longest time, I couldn't eat spicy <clears> food. <throat> I mean, when after the accident, probably three years went by, like I would eat any kind of like Mexican food or anything with any spice, I'd throw up immediately just because of the mm. amount of acid that my stomach yeah, was... was my stomach right was still making enough acid for like a regular stomach, so I'd be like, with the hot food, it just immediately throw up. So that totally sucked. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I got a question for Alistair. So you've been how long? How long you've been fighting? Since when? Well, I started training '94 when I was 14. Jesus. Uh, so, so that's this is my 22nd year. Okay, so 22 years of fighting, right? What was the best time period? Not not like of not winning or anything like that, right? But what was the best time period when you were like, oh, hell yeah, man, these are my homeboys. Like this is. <clears throat> This, this was it. Because, like, I for sure have a group of guys that when I fought, like, we were, we were tight, you know? Like, what was your best time with, with training-wise with the people you were training with? So not fighting. Not fighting. Not, like, not like you're the champion. You're bros. Not, yeah, not like you're the champion. Yeah. But, like, like, dudes that, like, if you called them right now, right, would be like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, let's go. I'm down. Uh, for training. For training. Not, not, okay, like, okay. not like, oh, yeah, I'm, the, I'm making as much money. Or, okay, so uh, back in 2008, 9, 10, uh, I was training at Golden Boy. That was good. Okay. That was very good. Good guys in the team. Actually, we got Benji around here somewhere. Where's Benji? Standing Yoo-hoo. behind me. He's from that period. The other answer is no. I mean, um, Greg Jackson team uh, is great. Also great guys. I also have the feeling, Cowboy, if I would call you in the middle of the night, I'm here and there. You would come and pick me up. I would. I would. So <laughs> everyone thinks Cowboys is a piece of shit, right? Yeah, like, like, like everyone thinks right. Cowboys is a dickhead and a mean guy, right? Racist. Because of how we a racist, right? <laughs> but yeah. it's like the it's like the farthest thing. He's a, he's a softy. I'm gonna tell you what the thing is with Cowboy. Cowboy is he reminds me a little bit of my brother. <coughs> you're either on the good side or you're on the bad side. Yeah, I can yeah. agree with and that. And uh-huh. he is straightforward enough. So in other words, not fake to just show what he feels about you. And that is something that I appreciate. I'm from Holland. In Holland, we kind of have the same mentality. Uh, when I came to the US, it, uh, it took me some adjusting, especially Miami. You you know, everybody's friendly, the but they're kind of thinking a different thing. The Northeast. And the Northeast? The Northeast will tell you how the fuck is. Yeah, it's the same, yeah. Yeah, same, same in Holland. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but then if there's like an issue, with Cabo, you don't have to worry about if he's going to address it. He's going to address it. He's going to address it. Right away, <laughs> like, hey, what the fuck's up? Oh, and, I know. Um, we know. Uh, that, that's, that's like a little <laughs> difference with some other uh, uh, groups, some other people, some other areas. Something is up, and then you gotta kind of figure it out on your own. Awkward. They might be your best. They might act like they're your best friends still, and then like next thing you know, like they haven't. Well, like they you. don't become best friends because they're just different. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, I like people who are straightforward. I'm like that too, and uh, a lot of people don't like that. Me. I'll agree with you. So I get that a lot. Either like me too. or you hate me. That's kind of how we're, we're I feel. We're rude. We're uh, to the point. We're, uh, yeah. Hey, so what do you guys think about the Hulk Hogan film? Fight week m- movie that uh, you're going to watch. Gladiator. Gladiator. Yeah. Fuck really? Gladiator yeah. is, my, uh, this is my go-to. Gladiator. When he's walking through the field, yeah. running his hands. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Gladiator, that's a good one. Every Gladiator. fight I watch it. Gladiator. Fight, I used Gladiator, to, huh? Gladiator and the Food Network, man. Oh, well, the Food... Oh, man. We talked about... Diners, that Drivers, and Dives Diamond all Drives fucking day, D, son. Yeah, uh, all fucking day. I love Diamond 300. Dives. 300. With, uh, 300's oh, too oh, fake, oh, though. Yeah, but I'll, I'll yeah. It's too I'll fake. Go I got to get into real... Like, like this actually might have happened like this. Yeah. Like, you know? Uh, 300 happened. Yeah. Well, no, it happened, but there was no ghosts and fucking, you know... And Xerxes isn't a god. I, like I saw Game a ghost the other day, duck hunting. Like he did see a ghost. Paul saw a ghost <coughs> last week. I know you saw somebody sitting at the end of your bed, right? Did. I seen a little girl sitting at the end of my bed waving me on. <laughs> no drugs. That was your no drugs. drugs. Hey, no no drugs. drugs. Yeah. Huh? That was your wife or your girlfriend? No. I no. wish. I didn't be so scared. We were out duck hunting. So but that was, was God that? talking to you. Saying, <laughs> Come on. Talking to me. I mean, I, 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 give my ad- I give my address out a lot. You know, I mean, look how many of us are here right now. People have no idea. I have a lot of vehicles. I have a lot of people here. So I've had people, like, drop by just uninvited just because I got my address. And you see them peeking in the window and shit. Don't do that. Not here. <laughs> this isn't a place. You know, they're pe- what if, you, if you're peeking in on my girl, you're going to get fucked up. You know what I mean? If I catch you looking Somebody in. Somebody talks shit to him on Twitter, his address goes out. Yeah. So, so I think we all, we're all fighters. We all have that aggression in us. So would it be safe to say that um, wouldn't the Army be something for us, Marines? I tried. I tried to go to the Army. And? Deny, deny, deny. I want him <laughs> compulsory behavior. Yeah, that was one of them. <laughs> so, I went, I went, so I went to jail. 
they sent me to the um, Navy Sea Cadets, like um, ROTC, don't go to jail, go to boot camp. Two weeks later, I got a phone call. My grandma had to come pick me up because they threw me out. <laughs> then I had to go serve my time in jail. Um, Officer Quinn. Officer Quinn, if you're listening, that was his name. Kept hitting me with this fucking brim right here in the nose of my thing. I said, Quinn, if you hit me in the motherfucking brim again, it's going down. I was like eight or nine. Oh, shit. Eight or yeah. nine? It's <laughs> fucking hot, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was. I felt like Roman. So I was the guide on. They made me guide on. Guide on was the guy who carries the fucking flag um, for the platoon. So if anyone ever stole my flag or if I got into trouble, the whole platoon had to pay for me while I sat and watched. Not a big deal for me because I didn't give a fuck. I was like, yeah, another push up, motherfucker. Right? Here. <laughs> right? So, but they just couldn't. I was just a loose. I mean, and let's take it back even as far as me training with Elliot and those guys, right? So I was fucking wild. I mean, no school would put their name on me. Now it's a different story, you know. Now they. I've earned my respect, I guess you could say, so they kind of have to, right, Elliot? <laughs> You've calmed down. <laughs> but back in the day, bro, they were like, God, this fucking more. asshole's here again. Yeah, I mean, it was just, it was a wild, it was a wild time. No, hold on, but it wasn't just that. You wouldn't put your name on any school either, though. You wouldn't stay around long enough because you thought everyone was going to fuck you at some point, right? They still do. Yeah, you thought everyone was going to. Come on, I've been here for 12 years. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. You know? fair enough. So you thought everyone, you know, so you were very cautious about who you would associate with. True? That's not like a, a beaten thing, little kid, and I that. wasn't. I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I had no, no reasons to be timid. You're an old soul. I'm an old soul. <coughs> old soul. But it was a two-way street. It wasn't it was. a one-way street. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, but it at was... the t and at the time, too, no school would put your na their name on you. We were all fighting, right? Yeah. So, like, how could I help you? Or, or yeah. You, right? Like, it's hard. Like, so it's easy. It's easy now because I'm done. I sucked, right? So I can. Oh, how, <laughs> how old are you again? I'm 35. You're not that old, bro. I know, I suck. I, told, I just said I suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just made it to Don't the call UFC. me old. <laughs> so, I mean, you know? but, so, but, but now it's easy for me to help him, right? Because I don't have to worry about, we talked about it last night, right? Mm -hmm. Like when training's going down, I see a mistake being made. I don't have to worry about, uh, I have to fight, so I got to keep training. I still going, have rounds to go. Right? Yeah. I, have to, I have to make sure I get mine. Now I just stop it and go, okay, let's, let's fix this. Let's address the situation, yeah. Um, Fuck, it was fun. Those, those were like the funnest times of my life, man. When? Then? Yeah, I used to love it. I used to love I remember going and working all day long. I'd wake up 6 in the morning, work till 2, get off at 2, and go to the gym. And loved it, man. It was so fun. I mean, I love it now. Like, training is my favorite thing to do. Like, training, kick, Thai boxing is my absolute favorite thing to do. Lifting weights? No, lifting weights <laughs> fell <laughs> <the> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> weights. I'd rather put a hot poker up my asshole than fucking lift a weight. <laughs> yeah, we can, so, we can tell. Yeah, yeah tell. so, let's, but like, just like the physicality of... of well, and now I'm getting into jiu-jitsu. I mean, like, to, to, to make somebody, like, just quit, call uncle, it's, it's so cool. Like, it's fun. It's fun, right? It's, it's fun. I enjoy it. Like, the, having all you guys here in the house, having a good time, like, to me, this is, these are, like, the best years of my life. You know, I love it. I sit back and think about this shit. It's so, so unbelievable, man. And I'm sitting across from you. I mean, you're a fucking legend. I've been watching you forever. I remember not even knowing what anything was watching you fight. And uh, so I'm honored to have you here in my house drinking a beer. And I would pick you the fuck up off the side of the road. If you call, it, yeah, you know, I bet you I'd go as far as saying if you called me and said, Cowboy, bring the truck, couple guns. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I'd be like, why? <laughs> but I'd be like, just trust me, okay? Just trust me. Yeah, I'd, I'd be super happy and I'd jump in and come. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it's, it's that, that, that's how I feel. I mean, guys, you guys say how, I mean, I don't like very many people, but it's really fucked up because I don't give people benefit of the doubt. I could just look at somebody, and just off their first glance, I'm like, don't like them. It's, it's not fair. I don't. It's not fair. And I need to. And it has to, nothing to do with race. No, nothing to do with race. We went over no. a white guy and a black guy. Bro, today. you're yeah. a minority no, here. I'm if you're tell white. You, I'm yeah, tell you, you are a minority at their answer if you're white. Yeah. It's, it's just I'm me and little tell you Lindsay. What it is. It oh, is. and white ass Felder. <laughs> if, somebody, if somebody has a backbone or not. You like yeah, and I have, have you noticed that nowadays? Back at back in the Rashad and the Chuck and the right. Right. Fucking backbone. Now pussies have wishbones, right? I wish I got motherfucker. I wish you would, bitch. You know. So, I I see a big difference in in just in training, man. Just in it was cutthroat back then, wasn't it? We sparred. It was rough. Rough. It was you rough. You came down to Jackson's and it you. It was rough. It was it was a three hour practice of getting your ass whooped. Beaten. Of down. getting your ass whooped. There was three hour practices. Dude, there three was twelve hours, one fifty fivers when I showed hours. up here. I was like, there was twelve of them. And I'm like, oh my God, Joe Daddy, Steven, Diego, like the list goes on and on and on, you know. And it's, yeah. 
And it was and it was just that it was just that every day, right? Like you were like when we every came down, we were sparring. every day hard. Yeah. Every day hard. Hard though. Hard. Whether it and be like, jiu-jitsu. you would end, <clears throat> you would end, and it'd be like these hard wrestling drills. Because Van Arsdale would run it, yeah, right? Van Arsdale. And oh. you had like so I had like Rashad like picking me up, blast drilling, not training, like blast doubling me into the concrete because the mat was this thick and it was concrete yeah, underneath, right? The shitty, shitty blue, blue mats. mats with the Broke stupid right? walls. Oh, my fuck, right? And it, so was, it was just we, and, brutal. And, and that blue Jackson's wall. used to not be the place where you would learn anything. It was the place you would come to become get, a fight. Get right, ready. Yeah. And we'd drive down, every, you know, me, me, Cody Donovan. We probably drove down 10 times. Ten, every weekend, we'd drive down. Fucking rent this little MCL Elegante hotel down the street. Manal, ghetto. It's on Manal. I-25 in Manal, yeah. <laughs> and we we set up shop. Barlow fought there one time. Man. But that that builds come. character. That builds character. It does. I, I look at my uh, career in the early days. There was no technique. It was fighting. 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 So that's what you did. Fighting. And then uh, I started when I was 14. I was the, the little guy. My brother was four years old. So he was 18. Still big as fuck, I bet. My brother? No, you at yeah. 14. Um... I was, uh, I think I was... I was like uh, 212. I was a middleweight, 17. <laughs> yeah. huh? How much did you weigh? My first fight? Yeah. I don't think you can find that, but uh, 84 kilos, I still remember. 84 kilos, so you were 100, 174? So that's a middleweight? No, 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 no 180, 180, 180, 190? 185. Where did you learn kickboxing? Holland, of Holland. course. Yeah. Dutch Holland. kickboxing. Yep, yep. I'll say we've gotten a lot smarter though now with the training a little bit, you know. And there's and there's more pussies, for sure. Like we've gotten a lot smarter. There's more pussies and there's more pussy. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. You have any chew? I I don't think so. You don't. What do you mean you don't think so? You don't think there's more pussies? More pussies. Not more pussy. No, I'm sorry. More pussies training. More pussies Not training. More pussies. Yeah, because yeah. because it's a cool thing. It's a popular thing. So hey, let's let's do UFC. Right. Let's do and this. a little bit though. Free rounds of UFC this week. I didn't. But mind yeah, sure. Was. But and, and a little bit, right? Like so. How how often do you spar hard now? Um, two times a week, maybe three. But that's I I spar hard when I have a fight. But the, right. But if the, I don't have a fight, uh, I'll train. I'll improve my uh, technique. And, and I would say three times a week is on the high end now for people, right? Because I'd say most people are going hard about not, not as some Yeah, you know. What's that? That's but 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 when but. Five years ago, it was hard every day. Bro, when I, I when I, I first showed up here at the place. ranch <coughs> with him, when he <coughs> met me, I met him. I paid I paid to be here when it was the tap out house, and you paid five hundred bucks, and that you lived there in a bunk bed in the back where he lives now, and he fixed it all up. <coughs> Times are tough. And all we did was we'd go down to Jackson's in the morning, we'd spar, and then I'd get up here at night, and he'd be like, "All right, Philly, me and you, let's go." Get and his coach would tell me what I needed to work on, and Two he would just beat the shit out of me. I mean, nosebleed. He cut me. But the only reason I got brought back out was because I would get that, get a fucking mad look on my face and try to fucking kill him. Did I kill him? Never. <laughs> but God damn it, if I didn't. But there's not many people that will do that, right? No, and that's there's not why many I was people one of the that do that. Guys that but now we don't, we don't do that anymore, right? No, no, there's no. no way we're doing that anymore. So softer guys are for sure coming into the sport. Yeah. Oh, and I remember my first time at Jackson Wayne, 2004. I got put down by Van Ars down my first night. He was getting ready to fight Randy Couture. Got my ass kicked, and how many guys now would come back from getting whooped by Dude. an Olympian? Yeah, fighting, you know, big. I, UFC hate, I hate Van Arsdale. Fuck, he yeah. fucked me up. Why? Him, Joy Keith, those good. were my sponsors. We just because he was mean to me. He was really fucking mean to me. And then I got decent. <laughs> training right? wise? Yeah, training, training wise. wise. And then I got decent, right? I got good enough. And like, I would talk a lot of shit to him after I got good enough. <laughs> you know? I would talk a yeah. lot of shit to him because I thought I could, I could fuck him up probably. You know, not yeah, probably absolutely. I'd fuck yeah, him up. You absolutely. Know? <laughs> but like at the when I came down, I couldn't fuck him up, and he was a total dick to me, like you, an absolute just brutal to me. And you remember the guys that would fuck you up, but were so cool to you, like Joey Vissignor, fuck, fuck me up you every up. single yeah, round. Oh yeah. And then give me two pointers afterwards. But then there's two. guys like, but Rashad used to fuck me up bad, right? Rashad used to fuck me up real bad and talk to me while fucking me up. But he did it <laughs> while in a, putting his penis yeah, in your face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But he did it in a way. He did it in a way that, like, looking back on the situation now, I can be like, he was trying to make me a better individual, yeah. right? Where I didn't feel like that from some other people, right? Like Counting Rashad, the penis in the face? Like, uh, you know, he did it to everybody. It wasn't uh, personal. I didn't you know? get the penis so in the face. You, yeah. So you thanked him. I thanked him. I thanked him, right? I, I got off the ultimate fighter, and, and I saw everything that he was saying, right? Because he called me. He called me the day I got off the ultimate fighter. And was like, he was like, and I was like, you were right. I'm, I'm like, I was a pussy, and you made me not, you know? 
I would never, I would never say that about myself. A pussy? Yeah. Oh. Why would you do that? Um, you know, you gotta accept the truth sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> if the shoe fits, wear it. And if the truth I'm hurts, not, wear it. I'm not now, but at the time, I for sure could have been. You know, it can be beat out of you, and it was. Hey, so, so talking about um, <coughs> uh, pussies. Yeah. What about Sage Norscut? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we all want to keep our job here. <laughs> Alistair makes enough where he can say what he wants. That's right. That's right. I, I think he's going to get a lot of guys that are on their way out or, or, or not, you know. Like the last that guy. Fit. He's going to get Conor McGregor. That guy was on his, his way out. Goes. Yeah. He's going to get, get, get McGregor. Leg hang, that guy yeah, had his leg hanging. Literally. And his leg hanging yeah. out, gut still in. Yeah. 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 I don't think he's going to last long. He's going to get McGregor. He could get McGregor. They're going to give him the treatment. They could protect him. They could definitely protect him. Like, McGregor's been protected, no doubt. Like, who do they give him? You can only be protected so much, though. Yeah, he's about to. McGregor did get his wins. Protected, yes, but he he won. Hey, but before McGregor, there was a Dan Hardy. Dan Hardy was the blueprint for that shit. Yeah. Yeah. And then got fucked up. And Chael Sonnen was also the blueprint for the McGregor. It's, it's, you know, it's, I love Chael, man. He, uh. Yeah. Yeah, he's funny. He's, He's a good shit talker. I he like is. him. Chael's a good dude. Good yeah. dude. Great Chael, dude. Chael's a really well, good I, I, I did Halloween with Chael last, just, last yeah, year. He's, He's just having fun, man. He's not, yeah. Yeah, I like you know, him. all the trash. He's making money. Chael went, out as, fun. Chael went out as Chael last year for Halloween, brought a syringe, and said, I'm Chael Sonnen. No, yeah. no way. way. I promise you. We went out for Halloween. That's pretty awesome. He brought a syringe, he huh? brought a syringe, and people were like, who are you? He's like, I'm Chael Sonnen. And he just made a joke out of it, you know? And it was awesome. He's a good dude, man. That's pretty good. And he told me, so he tells me, um, I, pu- I come home, uh, and there's a Range Rover in my, in my driveway. Here. No, no, I, I wish I had. Dana, send me a Range, please. That'd be great. But um, no, he, he has a Range Rover sitting in his driveway. Two days, three days go by. He calls in for a tow truck. He's like, yo, man, someone parked the Range in my driveway. <laughs> and then he went around. When the tow truck got there, the door was open, and there was a little note with the keys. He's like, oh, shit. This is for me, you know? And I was like. God, how do you just let a Range Rover sit in your driveway for fucking four days before you figure that out? <laughs> you know, so he, just sitting there talking with he, he's a good dude. Like you say, he, the, the persona he puts on, you know. It's very different from the real child. Very, very, very different. I mean, class act, man. He's a, he's a solid dude, and I don't know. I like hang on, roll with him, chill with him. Think he's going to come back? No. He's still on suspension, isn't he? No, but two years, so that's going to finish in like a year or so. Yeah, but, he's, but he can't do the test. He can't do shit either. What? He can't do he can't do the, the drugs, yes. right? He can't do the drugs? No, yeah. of course not. So I don't think he's gonna come back. Well, no. maybe one more fight, maybe against somebody else who's was doing the drugs and isn't on the drugs anymore. Uh, That's the problem with used to bees. Used to bees don't make honey no more. Cowboys. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Chael. I, I had it. I didn't get that joke, but. Are you, bees make honey. Bees make honey. Used to be. He's a used to be. Don't make honey. Used to bees don't make honey no more. Oh, but maybe uh, he wants to make some uh, money on his way out. But why should he? He's making a lot of money without fighting. Absolutely. <coughs> it's, it's like Brendan Schaub. Brendan Schaub is making well. a ton of money yeah. without fighting, right? So Everybody, why fight? And now he's doing, uh, uh, he's doing commentating, World Series, yeah. Maybe some other company. So let me, let, yeah. let, what do you guys think the <coughs> hardest part of training? You think it's detaching from your real life and, and leaving your, your, your wives and your, your children and everything at home and, and having to come with your friends and it's almost like a vacation in a sense but you have to I don't have I don't have any kids or I don't have a wife so I you know it's and mine lives here with me you guys come to my house so yeah. I, don't, I don't have that you know neglect but uh, you have kids you have a girlfriend I mean I've met her and and one you on have the way wife. one on the way yeah, and one on the way one on the way too congratulations so, I mean, you guys is that, find is that? Is that hard? Okay, so um, it, it's hard. I miss my little girl, my, my daughter. She's sure. based in Holland. My uh, girlfriend, uh, she comes and visit me. Absolutely. She's met her in Albuquerque. Um, yeah, sometimes it's hard, you know, but I moved from Holland to the States. Uh-huh. So that was already a big adjustment. Right. I miss my family and friends back there. It, it does make uh, it the more quality time when I'm back. I, I realize it more. And then, yeah. But is that, a, is that a, I see it as inevitable. You know, I'm, I'm a guy, I want to make the most of my sporting career. Sure. So when you have that mindset, it's like you can, you drop everything and you just go for it. So you look at making hay while the sun's shining. 
Yeah. You got so it. Something like that. You got it, right? You got it. <laughs> You got it. I mean, yeah, we have yeah. we have a short window. So you're saying you, yeah. you explain to them, hey, look, this is what I have to do. Five. My body is uh, is in an excellent shape, but you know, realistically speaking, uh, five more years. Five more. Forty. Five. You're going out at forty. Yeah, forty. Maybe, maybe you know, you get injured sooner. <coughs> sooner. Maybe if your uh, body holds a little bit longer than it's forty-two. I'm so I'm looking for. But I'm looking know, for coming in with on a walker. I'm like Yoda. <laughs> I'm gonna come in on a walker. They ring the bell. I'm gonna fucking come alive. I'm gonna fucking <laughs> so that's. You know, 15 minutes, come alive, then I'm going to go shut it down for a few like weeks. You know what I'm saying? Like Ken Shamrock and Gracie. That's it. That's they're hard. doing it again. Again. Yeah. God. So shun of it. So I'm not going to watch that. No. That's terrible. That's terrible. Huh? That's terrible. Out of principle. Yeah. Like, terrible. Poise is fighting Ken again. What, what, what do you uh, think about Krokop? You saw what happened, right? What did happen? He failed his USADA drug test and then retired. Yeah, he uh, got... Uh, well, what, what was funny that he, um, uh, remarkable, what was that he retired a day earlier? Yeah. Well, because he, he, got, he, he got, got the phone call. Suspension. Yeah. Well, is he suspended two years? I mean, yeah, I believe then, his case. Yeah, Usada came down with the, yeah, he failed the drug test for Yeah, but what did he fill on? HGH, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. He admitted to it, too. Yeah. He said, yeah. I some HGH. I, I, this is today's news, right? How do you uh -huh. Yesterday, yeah. It came out, it just broke yesterday. Can't, can't you do HGH if you're over a certain age? Or is that TRT? You, you can do it, but you can't compete and do it. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. Right, right. Like, sure. I thought you can get, like, a doctor. Yeah, for sure, yeah. but you can't. You can't most likely, uh, most, 35, right? How old are you? 35. 35. So most likely, I'm 35. Well, not that much older. He's, like, 37. Yeah, I know. So most likely, we all, you and I, could go to the doctor, and we could probably legally get prescribed TRT, HGH, for health reasons. Right, yeah. that they could say need to get it up. Need, to, you know, but now you, yeah, but you know now they, but you can't go compete in a physical performing athletic endeavor. Yeah, okay. On so, that. so they went over to Croatia. They randomly tested him, and then the results came back, and he was tested positive on uh, HGH. Okay. Okay. Well, I think about it. Yeah, um, it's not good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's done. Yeah. 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 He's so. done. <coughs> Well, two year ban at 37. Yeah, you're, yeah, it's, it's over. Yeah. yeah. Right? Shit. I'm 26 and the one year ban's killing if, me. If you yeah. got a two year ban, you'd be fucked. I, I probably would change, fucked. change my career back. Yeah, so he retired himself knowing he would retire anyway. Yeah. 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 Get retired. Like Nick Diaz has basically been retired by Nevada. I believe in that case, though, there's talks ongoing. They're going to make a settlement. Let's anyway. hope so, yeah. right? Because that's, that's retarded. Oh, so I think that's stupid. Let's hope yeah. so. Let's right hope so. Yeah. Let's hope so. On that note, Alistair, thank you very much. Appreciate you coming out. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. Thank Elliot you. Marshall. Cowboy, hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's been a while. Felder Paul. Thank you, sir. The thespian. That's right. Can we put that picture? Do we, can we find that picture? Oh, oh man. Real fast? No. Come on, yes, get that man. picture. I'm curious, man. Get that picture yeah. up. I, I, w I went to school for acting for you know, like my university. Which college. we are, we are making a uh, short, short story. <laughs> Always did martial arts, but I went to school to be an actor. So these guys get a huge kick out of finding old pictures of me doing shows. <laughs> There's a couple good ones. There's one where I'm in a, you know, I'm in a dress. So. Shaved legs. Hey, hey, cowboy. Yes. Uh, we we have a question from Twitter. This okay. is uh, at Timmy Hot Nuts. <laughs> Hot Nuts. Timmy Hot Nuts wants to know uh, with uh, the new app that was created, Rumbler. Uh, it's like Tinder, but for like Street Fighters. I heard about this. Yeah, yeah. so you can, you can like, fight. yeah, you fight, can create fight, a profile. Fight, fight. Yeah. What? Yeah, you oh, create yeah. a profile. Like, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Like, like, yeah, so then, so Mr. Anytime, Anyplace, Anywhere, you know, like uh, in your downtime between like building dorms and uh, fighting Paul Felder outside, <sighs> could you, you, uh, you want to take a fight outside like Edgewood out here? At, what's that strip club at? Uh, 203. There that's you go. 203. Um, no, I... I, when I had my boat rage incidents, we addressed this this talk about anywhere. The lady, the the defense kept trying to play the, me saying anyone, anywhere. But no, it's anyone, anywhere in the UFC. So no, I won't swipe right. I won't swipe left uh, <laughs> for a fight. So now if Pettis wants to swipe right and come see a motherfucker, yeah. Or, you know, if um, McNugget wants to swipe right and come see a motherfucker, <laughs> We can make that happen, you know? So, uh, 
All right, let me ask. Let me take a poll down the uh, the bar here. How many of those tent of those rumbler swipers? How much affliction T-shirts do you think are going to be involved in this? Yeah, ni- 1999 tap out T-shirts. Yeah. So yeah. is this this is legal? This is a real deal. Like, so you, they make a profile and then like it, it's like geo based where they. Uh, Not legal. You know, yeah, but like it'll say like okay, there's four guys in your area who want to fight. And then, like, you can, like, swipe or, like, take the fight, and then you meet up and throw, throw shit down in a Walmart parking lot. But you guys realize mutual combat is something that is... Only in, in some Washington states, State. yeah. So, for, for, so, mutual combat, you have to find an officer, right? And you tell the officer, hey, Alistair and I have a dispute. We need to settle it. Here are our rules. If it goes to the ground, it can only be on the ground for 10 seconds. There's no booting in the face or... There's biting, there's eye gouging, it's it, whatever, whatever rules we want to make. An officer has to agree, we agree, and the mutual combat is allowed. How awesome is that? How awesome would that be for road rage? That'd be the last motherfucker's road Let's rage, get a cop. Right? Let's get a cop. Let's get a cop. Yeah, to hold that thought. Yeah. Swipe right if you want to fight. A lot of people would stop trying to get in fights, though. Yeah. Yeah. If it was actual a real possibility, yeah. if like they actually thought they were gonna have to fight, people would not. People would. Yeah, stop. That's the same. No. Would that's the same state. Much that's the same state that has superheroes. I love superheroes. You ever see the MMA fighter that's a superhero? Jones. Yeah. He was not with my ass. One of my teammates <laughs> whooped his ass. <laughs> yeah, he's not talking about you. Oh, I thought he said. Wow. Um, yeah. On that note. We out of here. It was fun. Mm-hmm. Until next time. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you singing? <laughs> that, Is that, that a recording studio? That's that was that's, a show I did called Talk Radio. That's Philly right now. I was uh, in in that in that show. You were in Talk we, Radio. I was on a in a play called Talk Radio. Okay. It was also a movie by. Was Eric it, wasn't Bogosian. that Joe Rogan? How Rogan started? Too? Yeah, was news radio. He news was on radio. News Radio. News yeah, radio. yeah, yeah. But I I played a, a host of a. Of a like provocative uh, Har- Howard Stern type uh, Can you get radio the gun, show. Gun picture back up. Provocative. Which gun? Yeah. Oh. So it was like people called in with you know controversial topics and stuff like that. My. Uh, I have no shame of any of this, by the way. That's good. We're glad. <laughs> yeah, he'll 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 get it. Uh, He's fighting. That's way cooler looking. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that guy. Dan- Danny Castillo. Look at that guy. That spinning hook kick. How did that fight go with uh, Ross, right? I lost a split decision that I don't think I lost. We don't want to talk about it. He has a tough time letting go of the past. It's in so the we past. Try not to bring it, up. it was a tough fight, man. You know, oh, he's good. Me. I like Ross, but you know, he got the decision. I have no. The Ross fight doesn't bother me as much as the Edson Why wouldn't fight? I Google he Paul was Felder? Seven. This, this if I would have won, I'd have been. <laughs> 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 she might be Felder or something Felder. <laughs> I bet you she's somebody else's mom. Got it. Oh, no, yeah. no, no. There's a Felder right there. It's yeah, it. she's something Felder. She's somebody. Yeah. Wendy Paul Felder. Yeah. I'll be damned. Isn't that a German <laughs> last name? Yeah, it's German. All right. My mom's name on that is note, until the next time, never see time. y'all around.